Good morning. I've just parked up in this little lay-by at the foot of Birch and Clough. We're heading firstly through these woodlands, through Lady Clough, I believe it's called, towards Doctor's Gate and the Pennine Way um, as it heads up towards Bleaklow. And then we're going to turn off today up towards Alport Moor to the Trigport, Trig Point, sorry, on top of Alport Moor across to Alport Castles and back round to here. I've got it clocked at about 12 miles. Normally end up walking a bit more than that, but I'll let you know that at the end of the day. So it seems there's a bit and bit of tree falling in here. <laughs> I thought we're going under this one. Always oh, fun with a big rucksack on. Oh, poles all off it. Back up there now to the trees. And into Lady Clough. Quite an impressive bit of a overflow. Just look at the blue sky. Stunning up there. Out of Lady Clough then, crossing the A57, uh, Doctor's Gate, just up here, and heading then to join up with the, uh, the Pennine Way. This one is absolutely lovely this morning, there's still a bit of coolness to the uh, hair, but I've had to take my jumper off. My arms are out. Roll on some, eh? Got some more of this. A nice section here yeah, that is flagstoned. <clears throat> Let's not get too excited though, because I know where I'm heading. Will not be. <laughs> As we head now in the direction of the Pennine Way and Bleaklow. Shortly joining up with the Pennine Way then, that's where them three are. They'll be on their way to the uh, B29 crash site, won't they? Car park for which is over there. So, first place people I've seen since I started walking. And if I see any more, it'll probably be along the Pennine Way. Barely any wind in the air today, absolutely stunning. Okay, I'm at a bit of a junction in the path. Crash site that way, Pennine Way carries on up that way. I'm going to cross this stream and head over to Alport Moor. Well, this away for me.
the sound of nothing but the stream trickling down below the faint sound of aircraft in the skies bliss quite a handy little notice just in case you've uh, gone the wrong way oh i don't think i can i think i've got a bit of the style but... narrow little style well, that was me not expecting to see anyone. That's someone I kept up here. Who's fishing? I can't quite figure it out. So thankfully that gentleman was all right and I've carried on my way. I'm just walking through this valley. Marked on the map has grains in the water. Ah, oh, and it is absolutely perfect. Perfect hiking conditions. Perfectly scenic, perfectly quiet, just perfect. I've just dropped down off the actual main path a little bit because I thought this was quite an impressive little spot. Random tree growing out the top of the rock there. The waterfall down here. Very nice. There's actually two waterfalls. I couldn't see the uh, second one from where I stood last time. So this is as much as a footpath as you've got at the minute. Tricky to navigate, um, particularly getting onto it actually after you cross the little stream back there, gorge. But I think we're on the right track. In fact, I know we are according to the map. You can just see I went a little bit off in a section there. I think we'll move back on it now. <clears throat> Always a good sign when a trig point comes into view. Now it's getting a little bit more challenging up here. This is what we were expecting. Not so bad, not so bad. These are some pretty impressive views that have opened up down the valley here. Magical. I think my little lamb's got a bit stuck. We're fine, his mum and uh, sibling are down here. Oh, now he's off. Is he off? Oh, mum! Probably the more important view, eh? <laughs> heading, I don't really know where I'm heading. I'm heading down this path, obviously, towards it. May try and climb it while I'm passing. See how we go.
as you see from the drone footage I decided to make my way up um, put my bag down and just scrambled up with my hands and feet with my drone in my pocket and the uh, controller in my pocket and now I'm heading away from it and about four miles left to get back to the uh, to the van where I parked this morning Love these signs that are listed about. I don't know how many there are in total. This is number 107, 1948. <laughs> Definitely have our last look back to where I've been today then and see two figures on top of there. I don't think you'll make them out in there. Now dropping well away and round in the corner so it's going to disappear from sight I think. So a bit of a woodland conservation area through there. As I'm just strolling through this green lane it's a pretty relentless walk this one, we're on the way up again but I mean the views make it worth it eh? I think we've leveled out actually near enough for now <laughs> got some horns going on anything to the sound of the curlew never been short of views I need to pretty impressive. Over to my left as I'm walking back towards the car park. Okay, so 0 0.2 miles left to get back to the car. I'm walking beside the snake pass down here. Uh, chance for me to say thank you very much for joining me, of course. Uh, it's been an absolutely beautiful walk. I know I pretty much always say that. And as much as I love the Mamtor Ridge walk that I did last time, it is quite a busy one. Today I've hardly seen anybody. It's been bliss. It really has been beautiful. Mileage, it's going to come in about 13 miles, I think. Maybe just over. I'll pop it on screen. Elevation-wise, I'm not actually sure. It's been quite hilly. It's been, it has been tough. I'll pop that on screen as well right now. Last thing I suppose I'll pop on is a map of the walk so you can see where I've been. Um, a link to which will also be in the description. Um, OS map subscribers will be able to view that at uh, the 1 to 25 OS maps. If you're not, you'll only be able to see basic maps. What I would say is, if you are a novice or you're someone that's not confident with your navigating, probably don't come and do this one alone go with somebody who is a bit more skilled in navigating because there are places particularly up on top of the moors there uh, West End Moor, Alport Moor um, where navigating is pretty tricky at times so yeah have your wits about you but if you do like a peaceful walk it has been amazing it really has Last few steps then to get back to the van at the bottom of Birchin Clough. So thank you very much as ever for joining me. Until the next time, take care out there, enjoy your hiking, and I'll see you soon. Bye bye. One other thing I needed to point out, which I didn't do while I was recording back there, but is important. Mobile signal around this walk is extremely sketchy. There's nothing in the car park here and out now. I don't think there was anything until I got up to the trig point and from the trig point to Alport Castles I had a signal but that was the only time pretty much a little bit towards the end but again it's gone so do make sure if you're using your mobile for maps you have them downloaded before you set off and don't expect to be calling anyone for help on this walk because you haven't got a signal. That's it, thank you for watching, see you next time. Food, I had some food somewhere. Healthy.